Welcome to today's Coffee and Comics, Comics and Coffee. I'm your host, Jay Wheeler, your number one source for nerdy stuff, nerdy news, nerdy comic books, nerdy background noise, and everything else. Today's nerdy background noise is a mixture of things. It's part Galaxy Quest that I'm watching, and some drama about the president that my sister is watching. So... Enjoy those sounds while I give you the news and my comic reviews. Alright, so let's get going. Alright, so, obviously I have the comic books to review. There was a lot of comic books this week that I was reading, which is exciting because I love reading comic books, as you may know. Uh, yeah, so let's begin with the... Let's go with the evil first because there's a lot of the of evil this week, and then... We'll go with the rest. Alright, so. In the Forever Evil month that they're going to, that they're starting, uh, the premise for Forever Evil, in issue number one of Forever Evil, is that the crime syndicate somehow breaks out of jail and their universe comes over to our universe and breaks all the supervillains of our universe out and tells them, listen, you either join us or you'll die. Basically, that's the premise because now they've said, the crime syndicate says that the Justice League is dead. But there was no, in the previous, previous issues before Forever Evil was never any prelude of Superman dying, Wonder Woman dying, Batman dying, Flash dying, Green Lantern dying, Aquaman dying, Cyborg dying. It was never of that. But, apparently, in between issue 23 and 23.1, they died. So, I don't know. But, it's a good premise because it's almost, it's like giving all the bad guys of our universe they're questioning themselves. They're thinking, wait a minute, I'm only evil because like Two-Face and Two-Face, Batman and Robin, Two-Face 1, issue 23.1, uh, Two-Face, <laughs> he's been given a chance to relive his old uh, Harvey Dent days and old attorney days on either saving the city or letting it burn. So basically, he flips a coin, and as he tries to flip the coin, Scarecrow comes out of nowhere and grabs the coin and says, Listen, either join Cramp Syndicate or, you know, die. And if he's, and then Scarecrow's like, If you join the Cramp Syndicate, here's a new coin that uh, you can use. So he takes both coins. Well, he threatens Scarecrow most of the uh, first part of the page. And then. He takes both coins, Scarecrow disappears, and he flips it and decides to save Gotham. So he's out there, just like with like, he's got a whole bunch of guns, just bah, 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 just shooting people, shooting the bad guys essentially, and putting them back in the jail. So that's Two Face issue one, twenty three point one. That's what this one, this issue is about. Um, Forever Evil. I just told you about introducing the crime syndicate. Now, what's funny about the crime syndicate is that everyone's superpowers are the complete, uh, like everyone's weakness and gets their superpowers as the opposite. So, like Ultraman, uh, he gets his powers from kryptonite and the sun burns him. So, basically, he flies to the moon, moves the moon to the sun. So he doesn't need to, so the sun won't burn him, which, okay, if you're that powerful, then yeah, you probably could do that. Also got my coffee here to help me. All right, in Justice League of America, 7.1, again, throughout these, all these issues, there will, uh, Scarecrow is going to be in it because Scarecrow was officially the press releaser for the crime syndicate. So he's basically going 
to each villain in each city and going, listen, either join the crime syndicate or die. So, and he gives them propositions. He's like, well, listen, you can have, you can have the Justice League of America. We'll give them to you. Or you can have the crime syndicate come after you and the Justice League of America and you'll all die. So, now not all the superhero teams are dead. Two though, by the way. Teen Titans are still alive. Uh, Justice League of America is kind of still alive, possibly. So, uh, at, at the end, in Gorilla Grug issue one, uh, 23.1, these are all, by the way, will be the following, is the previous issues of each of these comic books are going to be point one. So, um, and Flash, we have the gorillas of Gorilla City and the humans of Central City come together, clean up the town, and all come together and work together at peace and harmony. But, uh, Johnny Quick, Johnny Quick breaks, uh, takes Gorilla Grog out of the Speed Force where he was trapped from and bring him back. And Gorilla Grog, as you, if you read The Flash, had the Speed Force. And so he comes back faster and stronger and basically kills the leader of the Gorilla Silly, Gorilla Silly, Gorilla City, which is a silly place to be. Hmm, get what I'm saying? No, but he, uh, then he tells the rest of the city, either be with me, join my army, or die. Basically, there's a lot in this Forever Evil series. There's going to be a lot of join me or die kind of stuff. So, but throughout right now, what I've been reading, I'm loving this series because not only do you get 3D covers, it's a good series so far. All right, and Deadpool killing Deadpool number three. Um, there's a Galactus Deadpool that showed up at the end of issue number two. And so, basically, Deadpool and the rest of the Deadpool Corps are trying to fight, trying to find out how to destroy Galactus Deadpool when Lady Deadpool takes it upon herself to use the ship and crash it into uh, Galactus Deadpool, which killing him, which destroying that universe and teleports Deadpool and... The Panda Deadpool back into uh, a different time where they meet a Duck Deadpool uh, and other Deadpools. Basically, other Deadpools that want to kill the original Deadpool. There's a lot of Deadpool in this. Let's just put it that way. Uh, it's it's pretty awesome. I I love it because it's just it shows an anti Deadpool, anti hero Deadpool, and just a straight up want to kill everyone Deadpool and having them just fight each other which is great Catalyst number three uh, and this issue this hero is on a spiritual journey trying to remember who he was before he want, before this whole mind, he mind erased or something messed with his brain and he forgot who he was for a while and so on the spiritual journey he's learning to how he became who he was and saves a whole saves a village from an evil dictator. Basically that's what this issue of Catalyst is. But again, Catalyst is an alternate version, like an an, an not an anti but a different take on superheroes. Um, Dark Horse likes doing that, which is great because it's a great break from the original Batman, Superman, you know, all those original heroes. Victorious, uh, issue number five. Uh, and this issue, this guy comes back, and again, they're struggling with their own inner demons while this big guy that had, was in this drug overdose induced toxin kind of stuff gets back up and has now got this suit of armor and is starting to destroy the city. And so the team is trying to regroup and fight this bad guy. 
which is pretty awesome, by the way. So, again, Dark Horse has a great way of taking uh, normal things, like normal superheroes, and flipping them on their head and making it even a better compelling story and amazing art to look at and read. So, again, you can get all these comic books and prior comic books faults. Best comic book store, I think. In Sacramento. Anyway. Alright. Now, to the news. Uh, today, the Metalopolis... Metalopolis? The Metal Metalopolis show, you know, the band that, uh, on Adult Swim, that TV show, the director of that is now... He put a Kickstarter up for the Superman Lives, the Death of Superman Lives uh, documentary, which, you know, he follows the, he follows the life of, I believe, was it Tim Burton and Nicolas Cage on how the Superman Lives uh, movie died, basically. You know that horrible, horrible idea that Nick Cage came up with having Superman fight a huge spider and taking him the ass and making him into daggers and having this black and silver suit? Yeah, that, that movie. There's, yeah, so there's a documentary going to be coming out soon. But he already, hit his, uh, he already hit his goal, way beyond his goal, for a Kickstarter with 19... Uh, 19... 98... Thousand dollars, which I guess that surpassed what he was asking. So, be on the lookout for that documentary because I'm eager, I'm eager to see that and see how that movie even got past the green light stage. So, all right. Secondly, there's a new Justice League animated cartoon coming out that it it has the new 52 characters and the new costumes, and it's gonna go. It's going to start with, it's called Justice League Wars, and I believe it's going to be going off of the, the beginning of the Justice League uh, comic books. Now, there hasn't been a release date for it, but there is a, there is a picture that shows Wonder Woman and her new outfit talking to the, uh, the government handler for the Justice League. It looks pretty good. Uh, I can't wait because, of course... The WB's or Warner Brothers animated Justice League movies are really good. Too bad they can't get a Justice League movie to get going because I love these animated cartoons. All right, number four. Uh, if you have not been watching Heroes of Cosplay on the Sci-Fi Channel, uh, what the hell are you doing? First of all, secondly. They, Heroes of Cosplay have been gathering a fair amount of criticism, bad criticism, not good criticism, between the inside of the cosplay community and the outside of thinking that there's been like fixed costumes, uh, fi yeah, fixed costume contests and, you know, copyright infringement and all this horrible stuff that you would think would never be in the cosplay universe. I've I've been watching that show and it's basically it's scripted reality first of all so they take they take a long they take a scene and they edit it down to where there's drama induced and so it just makes you think oh well this person this girl is bitch or this girl is a diva or why would they say that to another person kind of thing it makes people it makes them look like everyone is out to get each other kind of thing which is further from the truth because cosplay is and cosplay and the community is a big group of just friends and people that come together and enjoy making costumes and enjoy teaming together and going oh we should do Justice League oh we should do the Avengers so this show doesn't really shine a great light on here on cosplay people or the, the quote-unquote famous people of cosplay. But other than that, it's a great show, and it's getting more and more people known about cosplay. So you should check it out. And then lastly, 
Two last things. Uh, if you're into Adventure Time or regular show, the pop vinyl toys, you know, those big you know those big toys, those toys are like this big, that the big heads and the big eyes. Uh, there's gonna be a second wave for Adventure Time coming out this fall. And then new regular show figures are gonna I believe come out this fall as well. So be on the lookout for those if you're into those things.